my paper on Syed Nursi and his thinking, a short study. This paper is divided into two parts. First part is belong to his life and second part is belong to his thinking. I am not reading first part because everybody knows about him. So I am starting his thinking. Nursi is thinking. Nursi was a versatile and visionary scholar. His thinking and writings were also most powerful, important, and very much significant for the welfare of humankind all over the world. According to Nursi, religious and physical sciences should be taught together and in the light of the Quran. He emphasized on equality and lawfulness under democracy. He talked about hopeless loop holes of the world and order and its remedy. Universal belief and true happiness are found through belief and knowledge of Allah as far as is thought. He showed miraculousness of the Quran and highlighted peaceful approach by following Sunnah. Norsi opined that entire education system should be obviously be reoriented and incorporated in accordance with the requirement of time and the necessity of the society. In fact, Norsi showed his broadness and greatness in all aspects of human being. Some idea of Norsi are given below. Madrasatu Zahra. Governor Tahir Pasha was very much influenced by Norsi's view on combining educational system by Madrasatu Zahra. Approach here, Norsi proposed that religious and physical sciences to be taught in an integrated way. This will eliminate it. This will eliminate conflict and will bring modernization and balance into education. The human concept by Nursi has two important fit faculties. A brain, that means mind, intellect, and B heart, that means consciousness, spirituality. According to the Nursi, the first, that is, mind is related with physical science and the later, the consciousness with religious sciences. If the first is missing, fanatism will come, come out and if religious sciences are missing, then doubts and cunningness will emerge. His Madrasatus Jahra his Masrasatu Zahra project is based on, on a combined education that the Quranic and physical sciences to be taught in an amalgamation way. For Nursi, the physical sciences are the reflection of the names of Allah. <laughs> Modern Bhilus. Nursi also had a very sharp magnetic approach on modern values such as democracy means legality, legal condition and lawfulness. It is well known the basis of so-called democracy are election, that means eligibility, consultation, sure of power at the law and equality in front of law, justice. As far Nursi these things are well ex exercised during the early Islamic golden era. In his writing as early as 1907, he emphasized on equality, lawfulness, consultation, and eligibility. He upheld some ex explanatory evidences during the early time of Islam to demonstrate how Khulafai Rashidin was just and practiced law equally for Muslim and non-Muslims. 
in this regard he took two clear verses from the quran ordering mushwara consultation like wa amruhum shura bainahum and another wa shaviruhum fil amr nurse has put for a particularly stable turkey and proposed principles to be employed in government officials and for election ruling in the didan turkey he says that governance is a worldly things and looks like this if you have a watch to be repaired you do not go to imam you go to watch maker the ability is center here similarity similarly in the case of electing a ruler ability should be important matter not piousness if a pious and able person is there is good other is good otherwise able should be elected nurses this kind of quality thought made the governor tahi pasha to write a letter to sultan abdul hamid to and send along with nursi nursi went to istanbul in 1907 in order to present his project that means madrasa to zahra to the to sultan abdul hamid to however unlikely due to his young age and possibly other causes of the time and condition around place palace, palace nursi could not meet with sultan and he was rejected he spent a few years in istanbul and wrote some articles and books mostly related to socio political matter and education and also about modernization of ottoman state without losing spiritual values he confessed that he was disappointed with the treatment he received from the palace in istanbul and did not meet his opportunities he returned to his hometown and went to damascus on the way he met with the scholars of the province and tribe leaders the discussions with scholars were written as mukhawamat reasoning and the discussion with the tribe leaders printed as munazarat the debates he teaches the compatibility of modern values with islam such as democracy freedom lawfulness human rights etc the damas the damascus lecture in damascus nursi gave a talk at the umayyad mosque in 1911 known as damascus lecture or damascus sermon or khutbai shamia he taught they are about the basic disabilities in his term sickness of muslim world in particular and the whole world in general these indications sickness and the remedies that nurses thought are in the conditions of the present time in this land i have learned a lesson in the school of human kind social life and i have realized that what has allowed foreigners european to fly towards the future on progress while it arrested as and kept us in respect of material development in the middle age middle in the middle age in the middle ages are six dire darkness the six dire darkness are misery and hopelessness in social life number 2 death of truthfulness in social and political life number 3 love of opposition number 4 not knowing the brilliant bonds that bind the believers to one another number 5 autocracy which is spreads like various contagious diseases and number 6 restricting effort to what is personally beneficial said nursi said i shall explain by means of six word the lesson i have learned from the pharmacy of the quran 
which is like a faculty of medicine. This lesson continues the medicine to cure our social life of those six dire dark sickness. He went from Damascus to Istanbul via Beirut in June 1911. Sultan Abdul Hamid II was removed and Sultan Rashid just ascended to the power. There was some wavering in the Balkan part of Ottoman and the Sultan was preparing to give a visit to Balkan provinces such as Albania, Macedonia and Serbia etc. for feasible situation. Sultan asked Nursi to join him to represent eastern provinces of the Ottoman. During this visit, Nursi was able to present his educational project to Sultan Rashid and got the promise of 19,000 golden lira for the Mazratas Madrasatu Zahra project. Later on, the first world war broke and this project could not be realized. Mission of Nursi. Nursi's mission was to express and prove the miraculousness of the Quran to the world. And therefore, in general, Nursi's way of depending faith methodology cannot be defined by his writing only. The practical function of his mind, heart, training methodology also should be considered very sincerely. His approach is not a matter of knowledge only. It is beyond that. It is a kind of combined knowledge and practice. The Darsh Darshan model, the role of Damascus and Darshan, Nursi's methodology is very critical. In early years of Turkish Republic, there were very aggressive attacks on Islam, Quran and related values. As reading of the Quran was banded, Nursi did not set up an institution how to read the Holy Quran or how to memorize it. But rather he gave more emphasis on teaching Quranic values and what is in the Quran, what is stand for. According to Nursi, Quran means the Quran is an endless translation of the great book of the universe and the everlasting translation of the languages in which the divine laws of the universe, creation and operation are inscribed. The interpreter of the books of the visible material world are world of the unseen. Nursi said, suddenly we hear from the Quran's inspiring speech such as Yusabbihu lillahi ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-awd al-malik al-quddus al-aziz al-hakim. Nursi's evaluation of the Quran. The Quran sees and shows the truth of kindness and supervision expressed in Awalam yarawi la tayri faqahum suafatin wa yaqbidna مَا يُمْسِكُهُنَّ إِلَّا الرَّحْمَانِ إِنَّهُ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ بَصِيرٌ Another verse وَهُوَ مَعَكُمْ أَيْنَ مَا كُنْتُمْ Next هُوَ الْأَوَّلُ وَالْزَّاهِرُ وَالْبَاطِنُ وَهُوَ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ عَلِيمٌ And the last ayah وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ وَنَعْلَمُ مَا تُوَسْوِسُ بِهِ نَفْسُ وَنَحْنُ أَقْرَبُ إِلَيْهِ مِنْ حَبْلِ الْوَرِيدِ Peaceful approach of Nursi. In many contexts and places, Nursi wrote on peaceful struggle and methodology, but in one place where he very open supports his peaceful approach on the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, in an exemplary case, Nursi remembers the Hudaybiyah Peace Treaty. It was in the 19th years of prophethood. One night, Prophet Sallallahu dreamed of going for Umrah and visiting Kaaba. He asked his companion to prepare and set on journey to Mecca. However, 
on the way around Hudaybiyah, they were stopped by the Meccans, Quraysh, Mushrikun. After long discussions, there was a kind of peace treaty, and for long years of peace, the Muslim would not visit Makkah for those years, having many other outward the dis disgraceful conditions. Except peace is being, most of the ten conditions are against Muslim. Nursi suggested to search and read these conditions. He knew that most of us known it, it well and yet requested to kindly read one more time with his vision. Most companions did not like this peace and opposed Prophet Sallam, but in less than two years' time, Makkah was surrounded willingly. It is said that the number of people who convert into Islam in 21 months' time was more that was happened in the past 19 years. Thinking on politics, Norsi's thought on pol politics. Norsi was far away from politics and advised his students never rely their works on politics. For Norsi, people who are aiming to serve Islam, they should be very careful with their relations with politics and politicians. He takes example of Ahlal Bayat. If you ask what was the reason for Imam Ali anhu, lack of success in regard to the Islamic Caliphate compatibly to his persecutors, despite his extraordinary capabilities, unusual intelligence and great deservedness, the answer is that blessed person was deserving of heavy duties other than politics and rule. If he had, if he had been completely successful in politics and government, he, he would have been unable to acquire fully the meaningful title of king of sainthood. Whereas he speaks of a spiritual law for exceeding the external political khilafat and that became a universal master. In fact, his spiritual rule will continue even until the end of the world. As for his war with Muabiyah at Sifin, it was a war over the caliphate and rule. This is to say, Imam Ali who gave priority to the restriction of religion, the truth of Islam and the hereafter, and sacrificed some of the laws of government and merciless demands of politics. Whereas, Muawiyah and his supporters, in order to strengthen Islamic society with their governmental politics, left away confidence and privileged progressiveness. They support, they were obliged to in political territory, choosing permissiveness they fell into error. Norsi is thinking on, on women, that means guideline for women. But this man said Norsi expressed the nature and purity of women in the best way in his Risalai Nur. In Risalai Nur, he attached the attention to the moral and values of women as their real accomplishment in response to materialisms, materialisms perspective which have restrained women only to the outer and materialistic beauties. Women is the source of high moral by nature and a blaze created and blaze creature created to lady created to lead happy lives in the family. Allah created women in connect by nature but the de desire of dark powers to use them as a weapon lowered them as symbol of immortality. Conclusion Badi Zaman Sayyid Nursi is one of the versatile genius of the Islamic schools of thought. 
His devotion to the peace for mankind through religious belief in the 20th century and the subsequent periods made him well famous to study further. His thought of a religious harmony among the people of the world is cruelty justified for the unrest among the inhabitants of the present world. Regarding the clash of civilization that takes now more prominent issues in the present political affair, Norsi settles the humanity to solve any decent views through dialogue, the most democratic way out to progress of civilization. Norsi processes modern thinking in the light of religious values and his view on moral teaching guides the fellows in light with religious and science. Norsi therefore is not doubt a scholar of modern philosophy as well as a reformer in Islamic ideology. Democracy, gender, dignity, state policy including justice and electoral reform on the value of equal rights of the citizens are widely discussed by Nursi in his several writings and lectures. Nursi himself tried to establish these principles during his lifetime, making effort against the tyranny shown by the government of that time. Thank you.